So to create a coil brush, first we need to create a coil. To do this, select the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse a random size. Then go to the top of the screen, make sure that this link is off, then type in 200 pixels as the height and 50 pixels as the width. Then pick the scissor tool and cut these two anchor points right here. Pick the selection tool and select this part of the ellipse. Now go to the top of the screen and make sure this reference point is selected. Then go to the width and type in 30 pixels. And now your coil section should look like this. Now we can select the coil and adjust the size to the size that we want our brush to be. The size you choose right here will be how big the brush is going to be at a stroke weight at one point. So you can always adjust this after creating the brush simply by using the stroke weight. Just make it the approximate size that you want from the start. Now zoom into this section and make the stroke weight as wide as you want. Then pick the selection tool, hold down the ALT key to duplicate and duplicate the section like this. And we need three of these sections. So we have two right now and we want one more. So to repeat this step, simply click CTRL D. Then select all sections, disable the fill, leaving out only the strokes. And here we have our coil. So now we need to cut out a section of this coil that can be repeated seamlessly. And to do this, we pick the line tool and using these green smart guides, we want to select the exact middle of these sections right here. When the green guide goes right down the middle, hold down the shift key and draw a line from here and all the way through the coil. Then draw another line from right here and all the way through this coil as well. We will only be using these lines to cut the coil, so the exact length doesn't matter, just make them go all the way through. Then pick the selection tool and select everything. Then hold down the shift key to unselect these two lines, leaving us with only the coil selected. Now go to object, go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is selected and click OK. Now we want to unite all these shapes together to turn the coil into one shape instead of all these separate shapes. To do this, go to the Pathfinder panel right here. If it isn't open, go to Window and go to Pathfinder right here. Then go to this button right here that says Unite. And now the coil is one single shape, but not for long, because now we want to select both the coil and these two lines. Then go to the Pathfinder panel again and this time click Divide. Now right click the coil and click Ungroup. So now we have three separate shapes. And also we have some invisible shapes right here. So try to find these invisible shapes and simply delete them. Now select all the shapes just to check if you have any more invisible shapes. And we don't right here, so now we are ready to create our brush. To do this, select the swatches panel, then pick this first section and drag it into the swatches panel. Then pick the middle shape and drag this one into the swatches panel and do the same thing for the last shape. So now all these three shapes is a separate swatch right here. So let's build our brush by going to the brushes panel, go down to new brush, select pattern brush and click OK. From here select the beginning section and choose shape number 1. Then select the middle section and select shape number 2. Then select the end and select shape number 3. And if you want the ends of the coil to be more refined, watch my other video where I create a coil with closed ends. I will link to the video on the end screen. For now, when we have selected all the tiles, go to Colorization and click Tints. This will enable us to easily change the color of the coil to any color that we want. Now simply click OK. So let's zoom out and test it. Let's select the brush tool and draw a coil. And because we chose another colorization method, we can now select the coil again Go to the stroke color and simply change the color right here. We can also do shapes like ellipses and other kind of shapes. Thank you for watching.